Hey friend, as followers of Jesus, we're called to be moral influencers in our world. Yes, the life and teachings of Jesus encourage us as Christians to engage in civic responsibilities, including voting. Though the kingdom of God transcends earthly governments, Jesus addressed the attitudes we should have toward influencing the world around us. So let me share with you five reasons why I believe as disciples of Jesus, we should actively engage in the culture in which we live. Number one, stewardship and responsibility. Jesus taught the importance of responsible engagement with the world. In the parable of the talents, for example, he emphasized the principle of stewardship and he modeled the responsibility of interaction with authority in Matthew 22, 21. Give to Caesar what Caesar. So teaching us that we should engage with society and use our influence wisely. And throughout his ministry, Jesus brought justice, healing, and compassion to the desperate, the needy, the oppressed. He stood for the vulnerable, the sinner, the poor, the sick, and those on the fringes of society. You read that throughout the Gospels. So voting allows us to support policies that reflect Jesus' heart for justice and care for the vulnerable, ensuring that their voices are heard in the political arena. So Jesus invested in his disciples, preparing them to carry forward the mission of the kingdom. He demonstrated the importance of influencing and discipling others for good, knowing that his message would impact future generations. In the same way today, we can help shape the future by advocating for leaders and policies that reflect God's kingdom and his principles. It's very important. So number two, the reason we should be engaged in politics is that we're salt and light. Jesus teaches us as Christians, we're the salt of the earth and the light of the world, Matthew 5. So we're moral influencers and agents of change. This directly applies to voting and in some cases running for government positions. So preserving moral values is what salt is. You see, Jesus says you're the salt of the earth. But if the salt loses its saltiness, how can it make, be made salty again? It can't. It's worthless. So salt was used to prevent decay. And as Christians, we're called to preserve moral values in society to prevent the putrefying of our culture. And by voting and even running for office, we could stand for values that are like justice and truth and the sanctity of life, helping to prevent societal, society and moral decay. And also we're supposed to shine like light in the darkness. Light dispels darkness, exposing truth and provides guidance. As Christians, we're called to bring the light of Christ into the world, including the public sphere and government. So when we vote or serve in political positions, we shine a light on the important values, leading with integrity and reflecting Christ's values in a world often marked by corruption and self-interest. Thirdly, being in a position or a positive influence for good is very important. Jesus emphasized the importance of good works that glorify God. And when we engage in political process, we can influence the communities and the nations in ways that promote the common good, care for the poor, and uphold justice. These good works glorify God. It's part of our worship life. And it's one way that we can fulfill our calling to be salt and light in all the areas of our life, including governance. And fourthly, and most importantly, God wants us to pray. Jeremiah 29, 7 says, Also seek the peace and prosperity of the city to which I've carried you into exile. Pray to the Lord for it. Because if it prospers, you too will prosper. Now Israel was carried as captives into Babylon, an evil, corrupt culture opposed to God. And yet God commanded them to seek the welfare of the community and pray for Babylon and its leaders. How much more then should we pray for our government and our leaders today, even amidst the evidence of corruption and injustice? 1 Peter 2, 13 says, he encourages us to submit ourselves to the Lord's sake, to every human authority, governors, who are sent by him to punish those who do wrong and to commend those who do right. Even when the law is unfair or difficult to follow, we're called to engage respectfully with the governing authorities. And this includes 
voting and participating in the political process. Proverbs 31, 8 says, Speak up for those who cannot speak for themselves, for the right of all who are destitute. Speak up and judge fairly. Defend the rights of the poor and the needy. That's a command. So as Christians, we must be advocates for justice and the rights of the marginalized. Voting and political involvement give us the opportunity to defend the helpless, uh, the unborn, the exploited, and those oppressed by unjust systems. And Romans 13, 1 says, Let everyone be subject to the governing authorities, for there's no authority except that which God has established. Now, that's hard to obey. I mean, that's hard to get our mind around, especially when the authorities are unjust and their laws don't make any rational sense. We're reminded that God has allowed certain authorities to exist for His purposes. So instead of passivity, let your voice be heard. We're called to be peacemakers who respect and engage in the governance structures God has allowed. So here's my challenge. Jesus calls us to be salt and light, encouraging Christians to actively engage in the political process. So whether through praying, voting, or running for office. So by doing so, we preserve moral integrity, advocate for justice, and lead others toward truth and righteousness. Our participation in civic law reflects our kingdom values and is an opportunity to be faithful stewards of the society God's placed us in. And the first step toward voting is to make sure you're registered. So in Texas, you got to register by October 6th. And here's where you can register uh, for any state. And it's at tpusa.com, vote and live. May God guide and bless you as you engage in the world around you and be salt and light and make a difference. I hope that helps. Hope that's encouraging. God bless you.